Huh? So this, this door is locked, okay? It's locked. I can't oh, get out an anywhere. Oh, I'm, I'm Houdini, guys, right now! Oh, I cannot, I cannot get out, right? I cannot get out, okay? Yes? Uh-huh. Okay, watch, watch. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I have escaped! Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs>Hey guys, Mike the Vike here, back for yet another video. Today we got a Rust update. Really, really awesome update this week. I gotta say, these devs are on point. We're just getting good update after good update. Very, very awesome. Probably the most unexpected thing they added this week is the 4x scope. They just, like, slid this in there real quick last night. 4 power scope. It's a beast. It's probably overpowered right now. You can put it on... Any gun, uh, you can even put it on, like, the pipe shotgun. Interesting decision. You can toss some slugs in here. And you can have yourself a very cheap version of a, uh, bolt action. You can also put it on things like the crossbow. And even the, s the little semi-auto pistol, which I think is very cool. I have a feeling, like they said in the dev blog, this thing will need a little bit of tuning. In order for it to be a little bit balanced. But I mean, yeah, it's pretty sweet. You can snipe stuff with the bolt action. I've got a suppressor on this one. I mean, you toss some high velocity in this thing and a scope and a suppressor and you are just ready to go for days. I mean, you know, I'm attempting to shoot this horse, but uh, it's not going too well myself. But anyway, because he's just twitching around anyway. Okay, so this is pretty far away. Okay, we're doing some low-key deer hunting here. I think... Uh, that was pretty close. Let's just try try this again. Oh my gosh, come on. Okay, come on now. I I think we have to switch up our uh, our methods here. Oh my goodness, come on now. Come on. All right. Okay, so I gotta say, I think what's necessary on this- OH! What's necessary on this thing would be some- maybe like an upgraded scope, so they have like a nice cheap one like this. And then a nice like military one with like mill dots on it. So you can actually remember at one point, you know, and you can make some legit super long range shots that- with that reliably. You know, if they had some mill dots, I could actually figure out where I hit previously. Oh, I got him. 350 meters, and that took a long time. Anyways, very cool addition. I love the scope. People have been asking for this since Legacy, and uh, I'm just very happy they finally added it. Here's another example. You can put it on the pump shotgun. This is a gun where I think it'd be nice if they added the thing kind of like the bolt action. Like, you don't have to cycle the action automatically. That'd be kind of nice if they added the thing, like, on the bolts. You don't have to pull the bolt back right away and put it in a new round. You can, you know, you can choose, right? Whereas on the pump, it's automatic. So when you try to use slugs, you're at a significant disadvantage because you can't really, you know, gauge where you're hitting. Anyways, that'd be a very cool feature if they could add that in. I don't think it's impossible, but I mean, it still works. You can see what I did to that deer. Okay, the next addition they added is wall frames. And these can be used for a variety of new building blocks. But they work just like, you know, foundations or anything. You can upgrade them to armored or whatever you fancy and can afford. And basically the purpose is to fit these new things. For example, we've got a now a wood double door. We've got a sheet metal double door. And we've got a armored double door. Something I just discovered is that the health on the double doors is the same as the single door counterparts, which is interesting. I don't know, I would have thought that these would have more health, but I guess the sole purpose of this double door is to fit more people because, of course, you know, on a big raid, you know, whether you're a little raid base or whatever it may be, 
Maybe you're getting raided. You know, it's always gotten been an, a, annoying how you're running through a door and there's just so many people. And it's like you're waiting in a line. So, I mean, it's a great addition. I love it. And, uh, yeah, it'll be cool to see this in people's bases. Another new building block that they added were the chain link fence and gate. Currently, they're not exactly all that practical. They're fairly expensive, 500 metal frags a piece. And you can still place ladders on them. So, you know, I think something like a stone wall will still be preferred. However, this is awesome, and I think it looks very cool. And it'll be interesting, you know, what sort of things people develop with this. You know, I can imagine... Well, firstly, you could just wall off your compound and it'll look really nice. But uh, I'm sure we'll see all sorts of interesting camps and uh, sorts of things with this. Next building blocks that they added is the prison cell wall and the prison cell gate. They're stronger than the chain link fence and gate. So I guess this is sort of just like the upgraded version. Also, you know, we can now develop prison cells and stuff, which is interesting. I'm sure people, once again, will do all sorts of interesting things with chain link fences and prison cell walls. Very exciting. You could still place ladders on these, so uh, once again, not 100% practical for, you know, replacing concrete walls. But, I mean, these are also a fair bit cheaper in a way. So, there's that. The last one that they added this week is the shop front. You know, this is for a very particular purpose, but I still think it's cool. Um, I mean, this is meant for those people that like building little shops. And now they can put their items through this window instead of having to open the door. And then there's still a little side door thing. Uh, it's kind of interesting that they chose to only make it wood. Like, there's no upgraded version of it. I think it'd be neat to just, uh, well, what the hell is that? Okay, I don't know what the heck is on my top left screen. That's really weird. Anyways, that's gonna distract me for the rest of the video, but that's fine. Anyways, it's nice. I think it'd be cool to just make it armored and sheet metal and all that, because, like, why not kind of thing. But, I mean, it's cool. I'm sure somebody will like it a lot. It's probably Mike. It's, it's probably it's Mike. Probably Mike. I, I wouldn't doubt it being Mike. It's probably Mike. Oh, yeah, it is Mike. I told you. Nick. Hey! Hello, Mike. Next awesome thing that they added this week or improved is goodbye hollow site jitter. Oh, it's now usable. It's the most amazing thing of all time. Hang on, I have to fly away. But uh yeah, this this thing is amazing now. I don't know if my video had anything to do with this. Probably not. Probably not. But I would just like to say whoever fixed this, I appreciate you. So, thank you for fixing the hollow site. You know, even last week it was very jittery, and it seems to be no jitter anymore, which is lovely. Oh, and by the way, for anybody wondering, yes, you can put the scope on the AK. You know, it's probably overpowered, and uh, people are saying it in chat already how people are using it. But, uh, you know, it's still awesome. Oh, this is an interesting change. So, last week they added the laser sight, of course. And they made it so that there was a recoil improvement when you have it equipped. I thought it was just that no matter if it's on or off, you'll get the recoil bonus. But they actually wanted it so that it would only be bonus if the laser sight is actually on. So now in order to get that recoil reduction, it has to be on. Also, they made the recoil reduction only 15% instead of 20 So I guess people, or they thought it was a little bit overpowered. Probably was, but I mean... It's still great. I, I will still use it, of course. Oh, something that's funny is that apparently the scope actually reduces recoil, too. So, I mean, if you toss the laser sight and the scope, you're gonna have something with a lot less recoil. I presume when it's only aimed down. So that's all they've added this week in terms of content. Really big update. I think the scope obviously will change PvP quite a bit. And, of course, all these fences and prison things are going to be well implemented and used by players and I look forward to seeing it. I think it's awesome that they added this in, like it's not exactly all that practical or necessary, but I still think having items like this are just fantastic because it just adds to the game. We've got some sort of floor frame to look forward to next week I believe, and a ladder hatch which could change base designs a little bit. So they're just thinking outside the box a little bit these days, which is very in interesting and exciting. 
Might as well mention, this is of course on my Rust server, if you want to join, there's info on how to do so in the description. I played this week and had fun, but I got raided because I didn't have too much time to play. I do have a lot of footage I need to edit gameplay-wise, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. The server, by the way, is going to be switching to a dedicated server soon. So if you're trying to join, the IP will probably change fairly soon. So just keep that in mind. But for the moment, tonight, it'll probably still be on this current server. Anyways, you'll know for sure if the IP has changed because the title will have changed and it'll say go join the new server. Just thought I'd point that out. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this update video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.